Okay, this is Bo Fernandez, and he's being held comfortable by his owner, Susan Fernandez. And I'm just going to demonstrate how I would cut the toenails of a dog that was being recalcitrant about having his toenails done. Please notice that the first thing you do when you want to cut nails is to have the quick stop open so you can put your finger in it, stay, so you can put your finger in it just like that and take some out and put it on the end of the nail if it's necessary. The reason I'm doing it this way for Bo, he is going to demonstrate a dog that doesn't like to have his nails cut. And instead of holding the leg, which the dog doesn't like to have done, what we do is stay, stay. He's going to pick up, he can pick up. What I'm going to do is to go down from the top. Can't see what I'm doing as well as I'd like. Like that. And just, whoop. Whoop. Wait a minute. <laughs> Notice his nail is hanging over the edge of the table. So he really can't get me. Now he, his, he knows something's up. Okay. It's okay, buddy. If he lifts his foot up, then you just lift the other foot. Now he can't stand on no legs in the front, so he's not at the right position right now, but he will put it back there, just like that, and hold up this foot, or have a partner hold up this foot. His foot is now exposed. All Three of his four nails are right there where they can be cut. It's very easy to do it that way if you have a grooming pole and if the dog doesn't move his leg back like Bo just did. But that's because I, I'm on one last time here, I pick up this foot, okay, and if the hair is pulled back, I'll be able to get in and cut this nail without his being able to object. And I think that dogs that are very, he's not being cooperative, that's okay. Keep trying it this way. Okay, and I can then clip off just a little bit. Good boy, and continue doing it that way. That is the demonstration. Okay, that's it. Mr. Bo, good boy. And he didn't need any quick stop. You're a good boy.